I'd love to Ooh. see that. Counter left hand and a big people. Oh, and a big right. He fights really, really comfortable. So Check it out. This is the Chinese giant who is ready to conquer the world of boxing. His name is Zhile Zhang, but in boxing circles he is known as Big Bang. For several years now, this 2 meter titan has been fighting in the heavyweight division, and each of his fights is a real fireworks display of emotions. Zhile's strategy is simple and effective, destroy opponents one by one, leaving behind only destroyed rings and an admiring audience. With a weight of 116 kilograms and the strength to knock out a bull, Zhile Zhang is more than just a boxer. He is a living force, the embodiment of greatness and determination. He recently proved his invincibility with 26 victories, 21 of which ended in knockouts. This Chinese dragon is ready to join the ranks of world boxing legends, and his name is already on a par with Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Alexander Yuzik. In this exciting video, we look at his top fights that brought him fame and respect in world boxing. Zhile Zhang was born on May 2, 1983, in Qingyu, China. He began his boxing career in the amateur ranks in the weight category above 91 kilograms and achieved significant victories on the international stage, becoming a medalist at two world championships, the winner of the Summer Asian Games, and the Asian Championship. In 2008, at the Beijing Olympics, he won the silver medal. In August 2014, Zhile made his professional debut. His first victim was the American journeyman Curtis Lee Tate. Gile spent only 17 seconds on his first match, including the count and the referees waving off. Tate was knocked out by a straight left punch. Already, down goes Tate, they waved it off! His extensive experience in amateur bouts allowed the Chinese boxer to confidently climb the heavyweight professional rankings. Under the guidance of manager Terry Lane and promoter Dino Duva, Gile amassed a record of 13-0 in just two years, finishing most fights early, although his opponents were mostly unknown. In January 2017, Zhang won his first title, the WBO Oriental Regional Belt, by knocking out the well-known Australian fighter Peter Graham in the first round. <laughs> The fight against the Australian ended two seconds before the end of the first round, during which the opponent of the Chinese fighter hit the canvas twice. On May 26, 2017, in Boca Raton, Florida, Gile won by technical knockout in the first round against American Curtis Harper. On September 28, 2018, Zhile returned to his homeland in China to defend his WBO Oriental heavyweight title in a 10-round bout against the promising American Don Hainsworth, boasting a record of 15 wins, including 13 knockouts, 3 losses, and 1 draw. After a sluggish start to the fight, the ringmaster began to pummel his opponent towards the end of the first round. The beating continued into the second. And when the same relentless assault persisted into the third round without response, the referee waved off the fight. Oh, 
With this, Gile improved his record to 20-0, securing his 16th victory by knockout, and discussions arose about a potential bout in Monaco against a top opponent on the DAZN platform. New opportunities emerged for Gile after signing a contract with renowned British promoter Eddie Hearn in April 2019, who arranged several bouts with well-known fighters, leading Gile to a title-contending fight under the IBF line against Croatia's Philip the Beast Hergovic, but more on that later. On November 30th, 2019, in Monte Carlo as part of Eddie Hearn's show, the Chinese giant defended his title once again against experienced Ukrainian journeyman Andrey Rodenko with a record of 32 wins, including 20 knockouts and 5 losses. Despite a significant size advantage and the fact that originally the Russian Sergei Kuzmin was supposed to be Gilet's opponent, the replacement with Rodenko was only known at the beginning of the week. Gile failed to demonstrate what would enable him to compete with the division's top fighters. We're still trying to shed that amateur boxing as an amateur. Rodenko just reaching for right hand. The Gile has a lovely... The fight proceeded without clear dominance from either boxer as they took turns leading the action. Zhang landed cleaner and more frequent shots, constantly intercepting Rodenko's attacks. They might have hoped that he would be looking at him, trying to figure out a way that they can penetrate Zhang here. He's managed to penetrate Rudenko's defenses. And he's a good Rudenko relied on one-twos, complementing them with hooks, primarily targeting Gilet's guard, but also occasionally landing shots. Just In the fifth round, the Chinese giant managed to shake Rudenko with a prolonged series of blows against the ropes, but he did not capitalize on this success, choosing instead to take a pause. In the seventh three-minute round, the Ukrainian partly returned the favor, aggressively pressing forward and outboxing his opponent. Gile scored another knockdown on his opponent in the final 10th round, but again chose not to expend energy unnecessarily and comfortably secured the victory by a decision from the judges. A year later, on November 7th, 2019, in Hollywood, Gile confidently defeated 38-year-old American gatekeeper Devin Vargas, who in his last five fights had three wins and two losses, one of which was a knockout by Andy Ruiz Jr. Southpaw Gile kept the underdog at bay with his jab. The latter mostly focused on defense, occasionally complaining to the referee about blows to the back of the head. In the fourth round, Vargas yawned a left straight. After which he sprawled on the canvas of the ring. Victory by knockout in the fourth round. Check right hook right there. And then boom, straight wow. that pad. Look at the torque. From February 2021 proved to be a real challenge for our hero. Chinese heavyweight Jile Zhang, for the first time in his professional career, couldn't leave the ring victorious. The unexpected stumbling block was American journeyman Jerry Forrest, previously defeated by Gerald Washington, Michael Hunter, Jermaine Franklin, and Carlos Takam. Tough is it for a southpaw to land a straight left? Gile confidently started the fight. In the first three rounds, Forrest visited the canvas three times. Oh, and behind that punch. As Forrest went low, Zhang with a quick straight left hand. Yeah, short left hand, right. What? Get a ton of respect from people. Oh, and a big right hook, and that sends Forrest. Punches right on the tip of the chin, dude. And those shots right there, you do not recover from that quickly. Those shots on the Burchelt last weekend. Oh, he caught him again. Jerry Forrest keeps going at the big. It seemed that victory for the Chinese fighter was only a matter of time, but the favorite suddenly began to run out of gas. He goes right back after him. His game plan has been thrown out the window, but he got a, a left hand in there right on the town plus. He is primed to walk into another big shot. The big bang living up to the billing. Forrest not only returned to the fight, but also seized the initiative. 
In the second half of the match, he pressed forward and landed blows, while Gile constantly clenched and leaned over his opponent. In, have a point deduction in there on Zhang. He's got a chance here. Referee to, to break it. I'm not blaming Zhang at all. I'm saying you've got to see it if you're the referee. And now Zhang opening up. In the ninth round, the referee penalized the Chinese fighter by one point for dirty work. Stop, stop, stop. Here it one comes. Point. One point. We're holding the net, okay? You hear me? Realizing that it would be difficult for him to count on a win by points, Forrest tried to knock Gile out. He managed to shake the Chinese fighter several times, but failed to knock him down. Another losses. He didn't get stopped, but he wasn't in shape. Oh, the right hand connects again. Got him with the left. The crowd. After 10 rounds, one judge saw Forrest as the winner, while the other two scored at a draw. After the fight, the Chinese athlete ended up in the hospital due to suspicion of anemia and dehydration. On November 27, 2021, at Madison Square Garden Theater, Big Bang faced off against local gatekeeper Craig Lewis. In the second round, Gile dropped Lewis, who unexpectedly got back on his feet. In the same three-minute period, the underdog hit the canvas again, after which the referee stopped the fight. The next victim of our hero was American boxer Scott Alexander. Originally, Gile was supposed to face Philip Hergovic, with the status of the official contender for the IBF title on the line. However, the fight lost its contender status as the Croatian refused to fight four days before the bout. Scott Alexander stepped in as a replacement. Southpaw Gile took control of the ring, calmly setting up attacks, going behind Alexander's lead hand and cornering him. In the opening round, the strongman took a left straight that sent the American to the canvas. This was the first premature defeat for the underdog. That is the right hand Three months later, on August 20th, 2022, in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, the rescheduled match against Croatian Philip the Beast Trgovic took place. The fight was competitive, close, and ended with a controversial decision by the judges. After an accidental knockdown in the first round, Hergovic took control. On the back of those blue and gold, Trakovic is retreating. I said, I, I prefer to fight John. Oh, right hand, right down the pipe rack. And either one of them can end the fight at any time. John, who's starting to find a flow here, struggle. Most resistant, particularly this final minute of the round. What Jean was going through that night. And Manix, you mentioned this earlier. I think a lot of the He's trying to, he's trying to. Ooh. Oh, good counter oh. shot there. From oh, oh, right hand, right down. However, Gile quickly managed to level the match, and the sixth round proved to be very difficult for the Croatian boxer. The fight taken out of him. Hmm. Jean dropped. The rest of the fight was relatively even, although Gile was passive in the final round due to fatigue. Is often expected. Oh. Pendulum starting to swing. Oh, in the just, block. you can just hear how powerful the damaging punch for John. Oh, these uppercuts aren't bad. in win around sometimes. No, Back like this is a pick em fight. I mean, it, you've got it very close, obviously. But... After 12 rounds, Gile Zhang lost to Philip Hergovic by unanimous decision and about for the mandatory challenger status for the IBF World Heavyweight title. In April 2023, Gile Zhang received a new opportunity to vie for a championship chance in a bout against the interim WBO division champion, undefeated British boxer Joe Juggernaut Joyce. By this time, Big Bang had begun collaborating with Frank Warren of Queensbury Promotions, who also represented Joyce's interests. On April 15, 2023, Gile entered the Copper Box Arena in London as the underdog. 
Having lost the belt, the Briton activated the clause in the contract for an immediate rematch, which took place again in London on September 23, 2023. The outcome of the new confrontation was even more dismal for Joyce. The fight started with a slow reconnaissance in the opening round. Zhang down to the ground last time. So he has got to be quicker with the Gile Zhang. But Gile transitioned to active measures and began to repeatedly land precise double punches. From he was just a little bit slow to react. Um, to, and he's going Joyce looked sluggish and helpless against the attacks of the southpaw. By the end of the second round, the British fighter was in trouble, and Gile shook his opponent, but there wasn't enough time to finish him. In the third round, the Chinese giant continued to attack, landing powerful left punches. Joe, in an attempt to avoid damage, constantly moved under Gile's right hand, but this played a cruel trick on him. At the end of the third round, Gile met the Briton with a left hook and immediately followed up with a right hook, sending Joyce to the canvas. The Briton collapsed, and it became clear that he wouldn't be able to continue the fight. Joyce got up, but could barely stand, and the referee stopped the match. Joe Joyce was once again defeated, and by defending the interim WBO World Champion title, Gile Zhang earned the status of mandatory challenger and the opportunity to fight at a major boxing event in Saudi Arabia. On March 8th, at the Chaos Knockout event in Riyadh, Gile Zhang will step into the ring in the undercard of the Anthony Joshua Francis Ngannou bout against former WBO heavyweight champion Joseph Parker. The New Zealander who caused an upset in his last fight against the formidable puncher Deontay Wilder. Now, the formidable Chinese boxer officially contends for the main world titles. Yes, Gile's age is catching up, but why not cause another upset? The boxer from China is truly skilled in the ring, expertly utilizing his dimensions, possessing an awkward right-handed stance, and being extremely durable. Yes, this may not be enough to defeat the larger and more technical Fury, but taking down Yusik or beating Joshua, that's worth a shot. However, Gile wants to face the Gypsy King specifically. This was just the beginning. I want to fight for a championship belt. A fight with Fury? Let's do it. I want this. My team wants this. We need to meet in Beijing. I can knock out Fury. He has no chin, so he will be destroyed, Gile said in an interview with the YouTube channel IFL TV. Of course, the chances of the Chinese boxer becoming a full-fledged world champion are not so high. But don't miracles happen? Big guys with powerful punches and strong jaws can work wonders, even when inferior in skill to their opponents. In addition, Gile is highly motivated, as his career is coming to an end, and money won't earn itself. So, if given the chance, Big Bang can definitely surprise. What do you think? Is the 2-meter-tall Chinese a real threat to Fury?